Yeah, what's up? What's up with you guys? Um, today, you know, I made a promise to everyone, okay, and I'm at the point of fulfilling that promise right now, okay. Um, but before I proceed, let me test the microphone first, please. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like everything is working perfectly, you know, everything's on point, so you can all hear me clearly, you know, and precisely, all right? So, uh, I talked about meme coins, let me show you some, okay, let me even show you something real quick. I told you in Telegram channel, I told you on WhatsApp status, I told you on Facebook, I told you on uh, on WhatsApp group, that is the Crypto Niche WhatsApp group, and also the Crypto Niche Telegram channel, okay? I told you guys that I'm going to share all of this update with you, okay? Um, and it's not going to go beyond this weekend. So right now, I'm going to make this video now, okay? And in the next 20, 25 minutes, I will make sure that the video is fully uploaded on YouTube, all right? Because um, it's a promise and I have to fulfill that promise. Now, look at this. On the Telegram channel, that was when? On May 18th of May, okay? I said, to those that missed the main point train, we'll show you another short course this weekend. And that short course is exactly what I'm going to show you now. All right, so just list any any mem mem coin that you know, okay? Any mem coin of your choice, okay? Let me know, okay? If there's any mem coin you want me to analyze for you, drop this right there in the comment box, okay? Please don't go, don't come to my DM on WhatsApp. I'm begging you, okay? Just drop it on the comment box, and I'm going to analyze that uh, coin for you. Now, um, it's, it's going to be a special request. I'll just pick, all right? So now, um, the thing is that when you miss the mem coin train, okay? The next thing is not for you to jump on the meme coin and start buying it. Now, meme coin will always reward the first set of buyers. Okay, it's a very risky game. So it's like a gambling. All right, it's like a gambling. Now, if you miss that train, okay, and you try to buy the top, okay, or if, or if you try to like FOMO, FOMO means fear of missing out. Okay, if you try to buy, if you try to buy it by you know having that fear of missing out, you may likely lose a huge part of your money okay that is the challenge that we have with men coin you may likely lose a huge part of your money okay now what do you do this is a short call this is a new strategy like it's not actually a new strategy but it's something that you've not really been paying so much attention to all right now men coin is created as a joke all right until it becomes it gets to a stage like that of um, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, okay, it is still a joke, all right? And to be honest with you, it's going to be practically difficult or almost impossible for a newer version of Memcoin to overtake um, the likes of Shiba Inu, the likes of um, um, Doge, because they dominate that sector, they dominate that category, all right? So when you go to CoinMarketCap right now, let me go to CoinMarketCap, Okay, um, coinmarketcard.com, real quick. Um, if you really want to get the best value out of this, you have to make sure that you watch and understand everything till the end. So I'm gonna go to um categories. Okay, from category, then I will use Control F. Then I'll search for mem coin. Okay, I'll search for memes. Okay, this is the memes category. Okay, sorry about that. So you can see Dodge, you know, having a big market cap of 10.2 billion dollars, and you have a Shiba Inu. Then you have Pep. Okay, even when you look at Pep, Flokino, Bonshi, and the rest of them, okay, all the rest of the guys here, okay, they are not even up to the market cap of Shiba Inu. So it's going to be so hard and so difficult for them to attain that level. All right. So now what you can see now is this is Pep right here, isn't it? The moment it was listed, okay, this is exactly what I did. Okay, the moment it was listed on exchange, okay, I knew that, you know. I'm going to use Twitter and Twitter. Okay, Twitter is your best friend when it comes to this strategy. Okay, use Twitter. Okay, Twitter will show you, you know, if it is trending. All right, because um, because because I do crypto a whole lot. Okay, when Memcoin was trending, when Pep was trending, I knew through these trends for you because I interact so much with crypto um profiles. All right, so if you interact so much with, with crypto profile, then you will see a trend, a coin that is trending. All right. So now USD is trending for some reasons, okay. Um, RNDR is trending for some reasons, okay. So I'm not gonna buy into it immediately because it's trending, okay. For the fact that it's trending, it's an indication that it is very close to the top. 
okay it's an indication that this is very very close to the top okay and that is exactly what i'm going to do but let me uh no, mute let me move this all right so it's an indication that it is, it is very very close to the top all right so next i'm going to do is i'm going to go to coin market cap okay and i will check if it has been listed on a futures market all right i will check if it has been listed on a future market okay if it has been listed on a futures market all right you know especially perpetual futures market okay so i will wait okay i will wait i'll look at the charts i look at the charts then the moment this leaves the trend for you okay it could, it could it could take like two days three days the moment is out of this trend for you okay then that will be the next time to start opening your short position okay now let me show something real quick i'm gonna switch back to daily candles okay so this is daily candle let me zoom it okay let me zoom it okay uh, sorry about that because i'm going to zoom it now okay that was the day okay this was at this point here okay from here to this point you no know, pep was actually trending on twitter okay if you check to that trend it was trending massively it was a rave of the moment all right so i knew that it's about time to start looking forward to a short position okay now basically what you want from main coin is that you put in a hundred dollar okay and you want that hundred dollar to do like to turn to like uh like a thousand dollars five hundred four hundred you know that's exactly the reason why people are doing main coins in it so now you can still get it to the other way around okay because people are getting that five x two x three x ten x because it was pumping yeah because it will dump you can also get back that same thing that you are looking forward to okay and it is even safer okay it is safer i keep saying it, it is safer to open a short position on mem coin because it doesn't have any value okay it is basically driven by um by nothing okay by love of mem you know by nothing okay it's more like you know mem coins i see them as a fluke as a people way okay it's only a matter of time they will go back to where they belong all right, they will go back to where they belong. Not not all men call it hard support like Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. Not all of them. So it's gonna be hard for them. Look at this guy now. Let me show you something real quick. Look at this guy. Uh DC, where is it? There's a DC coin, Dodge something, something. Okay, it was among the top. All right. Now it has fall back to where it belongs. Look at this. Look, look at this position right now. All right. So what I'm saying in a sense is that they always have their time and they will fall back. Okay, so when you know that they will fall back. All you have to do basically, okay, is to go to like, I'm um, use one day, okay, I'm um, one day because you want to scalp, okay, you want to scalp, and if it's possible, you want to like hold your position for a while. Now look at this, look at this. So if you had drawn your trend line, okay, if you are doing your trend line, okay, you will have noticed that, okay, this is about time to open a short position. This is your trend line here, isn't it? Let me even delete, let me delete this. This is your trend line. Let me delete this also. This is your trend line here, isn't it? Okay, I used that for analysis and I posted it here. Now look at the Telegram channel. Uh, let me go for Pep. I'm going to search for Pep now. Pep, where is it? Pep Shorts. Okay, look at this. I posted this on 16th of May. Alright, 16th of May. Alright. So, I've really been opening short position before I even made this analysis. Okay, I've been opening short before I made this analysis. Now, look at this. I'm going to view this now. Okay. I said that you should short, you should open a short position at this at this point. And at that moment, you know, by using only five, only only 10x leverage, okay, you could have made extra 55% profit. Alright. 55% profit. So every you no know, when you see something on chart, okay, every bounce on the chart shows you an opportunity to open a short position. Now, how do you get about it? That is probably the question in your mind now, isn't it? Uh, let me go back to this. Okay, so how do you go about it? This is a live chart right now. This is a live chart. So how do you go about it? How do you how do you go about this? Okay, first and foremost, the first thing to do is to draw your trend line. Okay, draw your trend line. And when you draw your trend line, it shows you right there that this is bearish. Okay, your trend line shows you that this is bearish, isn't it? Then you have your your uh, moving average also right here. This is your this is your moving average right here, isn't it? So now, when you have, because you are scalping, okay, because you are scalping, you're going to use a lower moving average because you are scalping, okay? You're going to use a lower moving average because you are scalping. So now, 
Um, as someone who understands the candlesticks patterns, okay, when there's an exhaustion, you will know, okay, because what you are seeing here, it is a form of exhaustion. Okay, look at the exhaustion here. Okay, you will know. So there's going to be a bounce. Okay, at you know it, it may actually touch this trend line or, or miss it by a small a, a little chance. All right, or miss it by a little chance. So when there's a bounce on the trend line, then you open shorts. All right. So if you if you open short here. Okay, on this bounce. Okay, when you say bounce, you don't open short immediately. Let me let me show you how to use the bounce. I'm going to delete this now. Look at this candle. When there's a bounce, okay, you open your shorts. You know, with the next candle. Okay, when you open your candle, you shorts in the next in the next candle. Then this is going to be your stop loss. Your stop loss is slightly above this point. Okay, uh, let me. Okay, short position. Right, so we open the short here, the short here, okay. So then your stop loss will be around here, okay, slightly above this. So what do you see? Okay, then your ratio is when you, your own ratio is five, five point eight. All right, so you can use five point eight. You can use five point eight to a one ratio if you want. Okay, you can also use. Um, 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, anything above 2.0 is okay for scalping. Okay. Anything above that is, so if you commit like five, like let me say the $500 here. Okay. By the time your trade will close here, then you end up with 2,100 here. Okay. So like that is basically like this, that is your win ratio. That is how much you're willing to lose. Okay. Depending on your leg, on your leverage. All right. Depending on your leverage. So. You should always make sure that you use a reasonable um, risk to reward ratio. Okay. I'm not doing that now. Look at another one here. This is another bounce. Okay. Another bounce is here. Can you see it right here? This is an exhaustion candle. So you come here again. Okay. You open the short, you know, at the opening of the now, at the opening of the next candle. Okay. It doesn't matter whether, whether at any point that the next candle opens. Okay. Then you open the short position right there. Okay. Then you should stop loss. Drag it a little bit downward. Okay, you can place your stop loss at the previous eye. Okay, or you put, no, that is okay. Or, or slightly above, you know, the last eye. Okay, that is one issue three. Okay, then you set you set your stop loss below. Okay, so it's quite it's, it's quite simple and easy and straightforward, isn't it? Now, once this trailer is broken, you should know that the market is bullish. Okay. Then that main point is becoming, you know, is getting bullish again. Please don't long it. It doesn't make any sense. This is this is main point for God's sake. Don't open a long position because the trend has reversed. Okay. Now you can see the trend reversed at this point, isn't it? The trend reversed at this point. So all you have to do is to look for another opportunity to open a short. Okay. In this time around, you will not be making so much big profits. But if you are open a short position here because it is trending. Every bounce should give you an opportunity to short. Okay. And I told you, okay, the last time I, I analyzed pain, I said open a short position here. Okay, open a short position here. Okay, if you open a short position, a short position here, even with one ratio two, you are still gonna make some profits. All right. Now let me click on this again. Okay, I said open a short position at this point, isn't it? Yeah, you have your stop loss here if you want. Okay, that is one ratio two. Okay, so it keeps scalping, it keeps scalping, and again, okay, this is another one again, another opportunity to scalp. Okay, all you have to do again is to use a trend line. Okay, use a trend line here from this point to this point. Okay, right, isn't it? And if you want, because some people don't like to use weak, you don't like to use weak. Okay, that's okay, that's perfectly okay. Okay, come again. Okay, it is it is bearish once more. Okay. Come again, okay. Draw from here. If you don't like this, then extend it downward to this point. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so every bounce that you see on your trend line, okay, what do you do? Okay, you open a short position right there instantly. Okay, and if you don't want to use that trend line, perhaps that may be confusing. You know, that may look somehow to you. Okay, you can use this. Okay, you can use this, you know, to draw your trend line, if that makes sense to you, right? So when you draw that, 
every bounce that you see, okay, this even makes more, this even make better sense, right? Every bounce that you see, okay, you open your short position right there. All right. Every bounce that you see, you open your short position right there. Okay. And also to have better, okay, this is it. Not even this right. Okay, you can just come here. Then you show the next bounce. Okay, you show the next bounce. Okay, you wait for this. As a matter of fact, okay, as a matter of fact, this is an exhaustion, isn't it? Okay, so you can still milk it further. Okay, you can still make it further because this is a bounce. This is a weak. Okay, this is a bounce right here. Okay, if you had opened a short position here, you'll still be in profit. Okay, you'll still be in profit. And I believe that this is still going to go down further than this. All right. So, because we are using a a, a very good risk to reward ratio, let's assume now that you kind of open a position with a hundred dollar, then you know, the market went against you and you lost it. Okay. If you open the next one, I can use one issue three, one issue four. Okay. By the time you, you by the time your trade will close and hit that take profit that you've made back what you've lost back from the market. Okay. That is the essence of using very decent risk reward ratio. All right. That's the advantage. Now you can see that this is going to go down even further than this. Okay. Further than this. So the thing is, you should be prepared for all of these opportunities. Okay. Because they are definitely going to come down to, you know, to where they belong. That is obvious. All right. So um, you can see it has really lost a significant value, you no, know, since the all-time high. Look at this now. Let me measure it. This was the all-time high to this point. Okay, to this point, it has lost over sixty-four percent of its value. Okay. So for those of you who like to trade this on futures market, okay, this is an opportunity for you. Okay. This is an opportunity for you because if you miss the buy, don't miss the dump. Okay. If you miss the pump, don't miss the don't miss the dump. That is it. All right. So I hope you've got some value from this. Okay. Um, let me even check out some other name coins too. So that so that don't look like maybe only the coin. Uh, what about those new ones? Okay. App Dodge, right? That is AI, isn't it? AI Dodge. Now let me search for AI Dodge. AI Dodge. Okay. Let me search for AI Dodge. Okay, look at this. Look at this. They, they follow the same pattern. All of them. They follow the same pattern. Whether I do whatever it is, they all follow the same pattern. Look at it. Okay, look at it. Okay, they always follow the same pattern. Can you see it? So, every opportunity, every bounce that you see, they open a short position, isn't it? So, they follow a similar pattern. All of them. All right. So if you had opened the shorts right here, from this bounce here, sorry about that. If you had opened the short from this bounce, okay, then you drag it down a little bit to this level, okay, then you drag down a little bit, okay. That is one issue five, right there. That is a very clean, very clean one issue five. <laughs> So really, it's not really hard to trade this. Okay, all you have to do is just to draw your trend line, touching like two points at least. Okay, then you start opening your long, your, your short position right there. Okay, and there's still more and more opportunity to short this. Can you see? There's still more and more opportunity. Just draw your trend line. Okay, and wait for that bounce. Okay, then you'll be able to trade it. All right. So um, that is basically how to go about it. And if you don't use a trend line, though, I recommend that you use a trend line. To determine the direction of the trend. Okay. Now, first thing is that use your trend line to have an idea of the trend. Now, when you have an idea, okay, you can even use your moving average. Okay. Every bounce on the moving average, okay, every price rejection on the moving average that you open the short position. Okay. This is a rejection on the moving average. Okay. This is one here. Let me use an arrow key. Let me use an arrow. Sorry. This is a rejection here. Okay. And also, let me find another one. This is a, another rejection here. You know, give me some quick profit right there. Okay, this is another rejection here, isn't it? So um, this is another one. Another one is here. Okay, let's look for more. Let's look for more. Okay, this is still another one. 
Okay, though the profit might be so small here, but this is another one. All right, another one was here. So if you're using like five x leverage, you still be you still gonna be able to make some bucks on that. Okay, because I always recommend a five x leverage. Okay, and there's probably gonna be another one here. I'm waiting for it. Okay, another one here. Okay, so let's look at all of these opportunities. So because you missed the the pump, okay. The profit that you must have made from this one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, is more than enough. Okay, it's more than enough. Okay, so if you miss the pump, don't ever miss the pump. That's the that is the clear message. First thing, determine the trend. Okay, whenever you see a bearish pattern that is forming on any main coin, okay, don't be don't be shy, don't be scared. Open your shorts. Okay, the time the trend, how you that you determine the trend, use your trend line. Okay, okay, the time the trend, and after that, every bounce that you see your trend line, those are more, those signals are more they are more strong, like they are stronger. Yeah, they are stronger. Okay, and you can also use your moving average, you know, like this, okay, and use that to determine you know a short opportunity. Don't long it, don't long it, okay. Always look for always look for a short entries because it's the main coin, it doesn't have any use case. All right, <laughs> there is no pity for meme coin. There is no okay. You don't have to pity me. You don't have to pity a meme coin. Okay, so I'm waiting for this right now. Okay, even on this uh, one hour time frame. Okay, if this you actually break down through this, okay, and I discover any bounce probably between now and tomorrow, I'm gonna open another short position. Okay, so right there. So don't be scared to short it. If you have any question, let me know in the comment box. Okay, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be glad to answer whatever question that you have okay so hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more okay and use the comment box to let me know what you think about this um, tutorial all right so if you are new to the channel subscribe and uh, you can also join us on telegram right here you have um over 800 uh, members right here in the telegram channel so be a part of this you know and that is how you can get to learn about all the analysis and trades that i make and as you can see this right here i made this analysis um on when on may 18th okay some days ago you know that you should long this look at this i said this is a this is going to long okay it's going to buy okay so this is your first take profit is here and your next take profit is here okay then look at the price today okay look at the price um uh, if you had used 5x leverage you know that's a very cool that's a very cool profit then look at the charts okay even if you had even if you even if you had bought on spot markets you see you're still in profit okay look at the chart so it has actually hit the second TP. Okay. It has been able to hit the second TP right there, isn't it? So um, it's all about learning more and more about technical analysis, about becoming better and better in this. Okay, the more the more you learn, the more it gets better, and the more confidence you have in analysis and price prediction. So it is that clear. Okay. So I'm gonna be seeing you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now and enjoy the rest of your day.